Welcome back. Today we were working on a trailer that we picked up from Texas. Uh, so when bringing it back, we figured out we had an issue with it. Um, give you a quick diagram of what's going on with it. On my beautiful drawing, if this is the truck, this is the trailer, and as driving in a straight line, the trailer is angled to the side. Obviously it's exaggerated a little bit, but what I think is happening is one, if not both of these axles are slightly twisted. Um, which means the far outside, the driver's side, needs to come back a little bit. So what we're doing is we're checking to see if that's the case. Um, what we've got is a string all the way up in the center of the trailer. Most people suggest going from your ball because that's pretty easy to tell from the center. However, with it being hooked up to the truck, um, it's, you can't really get there and there's too many obstructions. So we found the center in between the I-beams and we're going with that. Um, we take this and we stretch it all the way back to that mark and we mark it. And then we would go to the other side and we would check it there. I can tell you when you go to the other side, this is actually a little farther back about here, which means that side of the axle needs to come back or something's not square. Because of how it's tracking, I'm figuring that it needs to come back a little bit. We'll check there. The rear axle is a little bit harder because you need to do something with it being unobstructed or as it could have a different plane of view. So we are going to try attempt to get this straightened out, work on the front axles. We will put the tires back on and take it down the road a little bit, see if the front axle corrected it, um, and we'll go from there. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna loosen up our U-bolts. We're gonna kind of pull this back a little bit. It does have some room for an adjustment, and as you can see, it's pretty far up there. We will adjust that a little bit, retake our measurements, look at it, see how we're going. Um, Underneath the trailer, we do have our jack stands. We did leave our tires underneath our trailer frame. So if something were to happen, uh, at least our tires are there. And we did leave it attached to the truck instead of it being on the jack stands. I don't think we have enough ugga duggas on our cordless impact, so we'll have to get a hand wrench. So this guy's loose. We have some play on both sides. So we'll go get the hammer and we'll just tap this back a little bit until we get it into a position we like. 
hopefully I can leave the front side um, loose. If I have to loosen it up, I will. I just don't want to keep walking it every which way. So if I could keep one side tight, that'd be preferred. All right, we got that front axle to where it's even, I think. Um, we got one tire on each side. So we are going to go ahead and drop the back side of the trailer. Uh, we'll get it off the jack stands, we'll take it down the road, and we'll see how we like it. Welcome back to day two of the adventure with the trailer. Um, yesterday we worked on the axles getting them aligned, which it did help quite a bit. I think I don't think we're quite there yet. We might try it one more time, um, see if we can't get it straightened out. Uh, we are tossing around the idea of still just taking it into a trailer shop. Even if I can get it 95% of the way there, it'd still be nice to have it all the way there. Plus they might be able to look at any axles and bearings and make sure they're all true like they're supposed to be. But for right now, we are going to focus on putting the deck on the trailer. 